What up, America? Tony from The Real American Outdoors here, and today we have a side-by-side -side video between the Gen 5 Glock 17 MOS and the Canik TP9 SFX. First, we're gonna start with our safety check. As you can see, we are clear with our Glock 17. And we are clear with our Canic. So first thing we're gonna do, compare barrel length. Let me take the O-Light off. Better see, make sure to watch the video of our unboxing review of the O-Light as well. So, Barrel length, as you can see, the Canic is longer. The optic kind of gets in the way there. But the uh, barrel is uh, four and a half inches on the Glock, and it is 5.2 on the Canic. Uh, magazine capacity, um, this is an 18-round mag. They do come with 20, sorry, yeah, 18-round mag. Do come with 20-round mags with the extension. Uh, Glock, this is your standard 17, but obviously this will take the big 33 round Glockazine mags as well. Uh, weight, uh, obviously I have the light and the Swamp Box Optic on here, but the weight without a mag is uh, 22.05 ounces, and the weight with a fully loaded mag is 33 and a third ounces. Um, this one, empty, it's a little heavier, it's 1.8 pounds. You do have a bigger slide, and this is made with uh, less, uh, more heavier steel material than the Glock is. So if weight is your concern, Glock might be a better option for you. Um, Canik, a lot of people don't know Canik is actually a Turkish brand. The Turkish military uses them, and obviously Glock, even though this one might be made in America, it is an Austrian company. So if that matters to you, you know, there's that as well. Um, in terms of price, they're both, uh, pre-pandemic, both around 500, obviously during the pandemic, you know, you see these for about mid sixes and this for about the same price, depending on, uh, uh, where you shop and online in the stores and whatnot. It is optics cut just like the Glock is. So here's where your footprint plate goes. As far as the sights, um, it does have the red front fiber optic sights. Glock sights are your standard. It's hard to see, but they are the standard white sights. But then we have the optic here, so that's going to take care of that. Um, both options are good duty gun options. Obviously, they are both full-size guns. Uh, so no matter which gun you choose, uh, both are going to work reliably well. I've never heard of any reliability problems with a Canik. And obviously, Glock has been kind of set the standard for reliability of any firearm for a pistol since they've really been around. So thanks for watching this quick side-by-side -side video. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications for new videos. Make sure to check us out at realamericanoutdoors.com. Also like us on Facebook and Instagram. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.